Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with another quick tip for you. This tutorial, we're going to do it a little quicker. We're going to show you how to do a background overlay um, with just one line of code, basically. So I've already gone ahead and uh, coded this all. And so we have a responsive code. We have our uh, header area, which is just the height of our viewport height minus the height of our uh, navigation and the way I did that was I took a variable called nav height and that calculates the navigation's outer height and then what we did was the headers height is going to be calculated by 100% of the uh, viewport height minus whatever the navigation's height is in pixels and that's how we get this which is also pretty responsive because as you can see right here this uh, navigation changes height and it's still the proper height as a matter of fact if I were to add like this console right here and make the height um, shorter it would still be responsive so we have a ver uh, vertical and horizontal responsiveness so that's just a little extra tidbit for you let's go ahead and make our background so we already know that if we do a get go to our header here and we say background image we can just put an image in here let's so let's just go ahead and do a source dot unsplash dot com and let's make it a nice uh, size 720 and then let's make it all about trains okay and so now when we update that we have a nice train background okay so let's uh, make this headers background instead of uh, white. Let's I'm sorry, instead of uh, the default, let's make it white. So the color is white. That way we can see it. That's a little bit better. Okay, so now we have our background. Now let's imagine we want to make an overlay here. Um, and uh, the overlay is going to be uh, something that we can put a, a separate color on top of this well instead of having this being um, uh, position absolute or anything like that it's really quite simple right before this image here you can actually put color so to do that we're gonna do a uh, linear gradient okay and then a comma right here and so this linear gradient could be anything uh, remember it's a gradient so it has to have at least two colors so let's just go ahead and do RGBA and then uh, RGBA just like that and let's just go ahead and make it white so let's go 255 by 255 by 255 by 1 and let's do that again 255 by 255 by 255 by 1 oops and now we have a nice white background okay so we can pretty much pick any uh, color we'd like let's just do 180 right here okay so now you have this nice uh, kind of bluish background okay so now obviously since we're using uh, RGBA we can change our opacity so let's go ahead and change our opacity to 0.5 and now you have a background with an opacity that you can kind of see our overlay so it's really quite simple um, if that's all you really wanted to do this is it that's our quick uh, tip for today however we're going to if you wanted to continue we have some great uh, tips that uh, might make your site really nice and stand out so this color right here let's go ahead and pick that color let's go ahead and see what this color is so you can see it's 333 the RGB version of that is uh, 51 51 51 so let's go ahead and change this first one to 51 51 51 okay and then of course this is white so we're gonna keep this at white so let's for the time being put this to uh, full opacity and as you can see we have this nice um, background that kind of 
uh, flows down. And of course, at, since this is a fixed height on our uh, or our fixed position on our navigation, actually it's a sticky position on our navigation, uh, it's going to do this nice little effect of fading through. Okay, so uh, you can do that. And it looks like our bottom one didn't go through too well. Let's see. Oh, this is supposed to be 255. Okay, run. That's better. So now you have a nice uh, fading background on your background overlay. So now here's our issue. If we were to go ahead and put 0.5 on this, so we can get that same effect of seeing our background. we actually lose our ability to do the uh, the gradual fading, okay? Because uh, we'll, we just lose that. So in order to do this better, we actually just add a third color. So let's go ahead and put these to full opacity. Let's take this RGB right here, say copy and then paste, okay? And now we take this opacity and let's bring it all the way down to like three, for instance. So now we have that same flowing, but now right in the center, we can actually see our uh, background. And uh, what's great about this is that we can change this opacity to 0.6, for instance. And now we can barely see the background, but it comes out very nice, okay? And of course, we got to change our background position and all. But uh, you can, as you can see, it does a nice blend to our uh, content and a nice blend from our navigation. So uh, thank you very much. That's our tip for today. If you liked what you saw, put a thumbs up. And uh, of course, if you'd like more, please leave a question or a comment below, and I'd be more than happy to help you out. Have a wonderful day.